Hi, drummers. Hope you're well. Right, five killer drum fills for grade one and grade two. Um, I'll play them for you all first. So here we go. We're going to do three bars groove, one bar fill. Here it comes. One, two, three, four. Drum fill number one. Number two. Fill number three. Fill number four. Fill number five. All right, just a bit of fun, man. And this is, these are all created using the little system of uh, choosing for each beat, tea, coffee, cappuccino, motorbike, or blackcurrant. Hopefully you've seen my little series of videos about this. If not, I'll link to it below. Uh, so basically, tea, coffee, cappuccino for quarter notes, eighths, sixteenths, or crotchets, quavers, semi-quavers. And then the two little combination figures of eighths and sixteenths that we see at uh, grade one and grade two. First of all, ba ba ba, one eighth, two sixteenths, which is I like to think of black current, and then two sixteenths, one eighth, ba ba ba. I like to think of that as motorbike, right? So really, the the way to go about it, the short version is on each beat you select one of those note values or figures: tea, coffee, cappuccino, motorbike, or black current. Uh, then you pick it. Obviously, you pick one for each beat, and then you've got a one whole bar of rhythm that you that you like. So in the case of fill number one, I've gone tea, tea cappuccino coffee right so tea tea cappuccino coffee coffee and then the way to play it around the kit at first just to get it moving is to go beat one here beat two here beat three here beat four here so in that case tea, tea cappuccino coffee you with me so again beat one on the snare beat two on the high tom beat three on the mid tom beat four on the floor tom now obviously that's not the drum fill i play but that's a good place to get it going good way to get it started tea, Cappuccino coffee. T T cappuccino coffee. You play that around a few times if you're happy. You then think about how you're going to orchestrate it. This is where the fun really starts and where the most sort of creative part comes in. How am I going to play this around the kit? Now I've gone for here, just as an example, flams, big fat flams on the snare. Flam where you play two sticks just a little bit apart to fatten up the sound. I've gone for that on the T, T at the start, both flams. T, T. I've then gone cappuccino. Uh, two hits on the snare drum, two hits on the high tom. You know, coffee, two hits on the floor tom. So, T, T, no coffee. Fill number one. no coffee. Here it comes. T, T, no coffee. Let's fill number one. All right, fill number two. I've gone for the rhythm of cappuccino, coffee, cappuccino, tea. Cappuccino, coffee, cappuccino, tea. You know the drill by now. First of all, you play snare drum, high tom, mid tom, floor tom. If you don't have a mid tom, by the way, just use the, the ride symbol for beat three or play your high tom again uh, for beat three. So this is the rhythm of fill number two. Cappuccino coffee, cappuccino tea. Basic way around the kit. Cappuccino coffee, cappuccino tea. Cappuccino coffee, cappuccino tea. Once you're happy with that, you can start to orchestrate it. Now here on the cappuccinos, I've gone for a classic like 70s rock, John Bonham, Led Zeppelin. I'm always waffling on about John Bonham on this channel, but yeah, classic like John Bonham, Led Zeppelin phrase, which is. So snare, high tom, floor tom, then kick for cappuccino for those four sixteenths. I've gone right, left, right, kick, which makes the most sense to me as a right-hander. Keep it simple. Okay, that's beat one. Coffee for beat two on the snare. Uh, beat three, I've done the same little cappuccino figure again. And then on beat four, I've done a crash and a snare. On this kit, 
both these symbols are crashes. You can hit any crash symbol you like, or even a ride symbol, doesn't really matter, but some kind of symbol with the snare drum on beat four. So this goes, fill number two. Cappuccino coffee, cappuccino tea. Fill number two, full version, here it comes. Number two, love it. Great little fill, right? And hopefully you can see it's just simple beginnings, isn't it? Like that's the that's the process. First process is you select your for your four beats in the bar. On each beat, I'm going to play tea, coffee, cappuccino, motorbike, black carrot. We haven't even got to motorbike, black carrot yet. And then you play it around the kit in the basic way: snare, high tom, mid tom, floor tom. Beats one, two, three, four. Then you think, okay, how can I orchestrate this? How can I keep this rhythm but play it in some fun, interesting way around the kit? And that's where they really come alive. I think that last step. So that's groove number two. Sorry, fill number two. Fill number three. Uh, coffee, coffee, cappuccino, tea. So coffee, coffee, eighth notes, cappuccino, sixteenth, tea, quarter note. I'll play it around the kit in the basic way first. Coffee, coffee, cappuccino, tea. Here we go. And coffee, coffee, cappuccino, tea. Coffee, coffee, cappuccino, tea. Coffee. Coffee, cappuccino, tea. Okay, I've now finally orchestrated it as, again, flams. I've gone flam, kick, flam, kick this time on the coffees. Coffee, coffee, uh, cappuccino. Seeing as we're using that, like, John Bonham figure, I've used that again. Cappuccino for beat three. And then a tea is a big flam on the snare drum again. So, coffee, coffee, cappuccino, tea. This is fill number three, full version. Coffee, coffee, cappuccino. Coffee, coffee, cappuccino. Right, let's pick it up a bit. All right, cool with me so far. Fill number four oh, goes motorbike. Motorbike, black current, black current. So here we're introducing the two little combination figures that we see loads in the grade one book and the grade two book, or at that level. Motorbike, two sixteenths, one eighth. Black current, one eighth, two sixteenths. Motorbike, motorbike, black current, black current. Uh, you guessed it, played around the kit in the sort of uh, most basic way. Motorbike, motorbike, black current, black current. 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 All right, I have orchestrated this as, just for fun, and just as an example. On the motorbike, I've gone two stick hits and then a kick. I love it when the kick gets involved um, in like the lead line of a field. I just think that's so cool. So, motorbike, motorbike. You seeing that? Motorbike, motorbike. I've done right, left kick there as I'm a right hander. And then on black current, black current, we're actually just going to stick with playing it as we did in the basic uh, version of playing it around the kit. So uh, um, beat three on the mid tom, beat four on the floor tom. Here's the whole fill. Motorbike, motorbike, black current, black current. Motorbike, motorbike, black current, black current. Motorbike, motorbike, black current, black current. Okay, that's number four. Recommended sticking on black current is right, right, left, if you're right-handed, and left, left, right, if you're um, left-handed. On motorbike, recommended sticking is right, left, right, if you're right-handed and left, right, left, if you're left-handed. Okay, cool. Uh, number five, here we go, man. The rhythm is cappuccino, motorbike, black current T, right? Cappuccino, 16th, motorbike, 2 sixteenths, one eighth, black current, one eighth, two sixteenths, and then T, a quarter note at the end. 
Cappuccino motorbike black current tier. You guessed it. We're going to play it around the kit in that basic format. Snare, high tom, mid tom, floor tom. Cappuccino motorbike black current tee. Just play on that for a little bit. Get comfortable with it. Motorbike black current tee. Cappuccino motorbike black current tee. Cappuccino motorbike black Guarantee. Okay, cool. Now I've orchestrated this as cappuccino on the snare motorbike. I've done a classic little rock thing of going two snare drums and then the high tom. So cappuccino motorbike. A black current. I've decided to go um, on the floor tom. And then T. Crash and kick at the end. So this one goes fill number five. Cappuccino motorbike black current T. Fill number five, the whole full version. A bit faster. Cappuccino motorbike black current T. So that's all five. Hopefully, again, you can see it's such an important point there. This is just a little system, isn't it? And from very simple beginnings of on each beat, selecting a rhythm. Well, the stage, the stages are, first of all, you get your bar of rhythm going. You then play it around the kit in the most basic way. Snare drum, high tom, mid tom, floor tom. And then the fun starts. Then you sort of think, okay, how am I going to orchestrate this? And I just wanted to give a few ex examples here of how you can do orchestrations just to kind of get you thinking again, get the blood flowing a little bit and just get you sort of in that mode of putting things around the kit because it's all very well like your teacher saying oh and then play it around the kit but I think that's I think there's friction there for some people of like oh well how like what do I do and actually there's almost like too many possibilities aren't there so any way you do it is fine but actually it's quite good to see some examples just to kind of get you get you going with it I think right I'm going to play through the whole lot uh, I'm going to go slow and I'll do like three bars groove and then one bar drum fill and then I'll do the whole five fills and then I'll get a bit quicker second time around. So here we go, man. Nice and steady. Fill number one, three and four and. Okay, here it comes. Here's the fill number one. Fill number two, here it comes. Cappuccino coffee, cappuccino tea. Okay, fill number three, here we go. Fill number four. Number five. Okay, I'll go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Fill number one. Fill number two. Fill four. Fill five. Okay, and finally I'll go at that speed again, uh, but I'll loop each one a little bit. So here's fill number one on a loop. I'll do one bar groove this time. And one bar fill. Fill number one again. Okay, fill number two. Here we go.
All right, fill number three, two, three. And here it comes. Fill number four. Here it comes. And fill number five. And just for fun, I'll rattle through, just for fun, I'll rattle through the whole lot again. Uh, let's go one bar groove, one bar fill. We'll start slow, and as we repeat, we'll get faster and just for fun, we'll try get a bit silly with it. So, um, one bar groove, one bar fill. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two, fill number one. Here we go. Fill two. Fill three. Fill four. And fill number five. Okay, a bit faster. Oh. <laughs> right, a bit faster. A bit faster last time. All right, just a bit silly fun. You're unlikely to need to play them at that speed at grade one. So this is, again, I can't repeat this enough times really, just a way into creating your own drum fills. So you know, don't just take these and say, right, these are now my drum fills. It's quite great to have that for a bit and have like these fills and just play around with them. And again, this is just in, just the idea to get you inspired, to get you thinking and just do some of your own, man. Like the system I've used, I literally threw these together in the sort of one minute before I started filming this video, just wrote them out on a piece of paper. Nothing special about these, didn't spend ages thinking about them, just use that system. Again, on each beat, I picked either tea, coffee, cappuccino, motorbike or black current. I played it around the kit, snare, high tom, mid tom, floor tom, beats one, two, three, four. And then I just, in some way, twisted the orchestration a little bit. Um, what I really, really like is when the bass drum, when the kick drum starts coming in as part of the lead line, that's really fun as well. And uh, man, just a bit of fun to think about when you're improvising stuff at that grade one, grade two level. Hope that was useful. Any questions about that or anything else, give us a shout. Thanks for watching as always. Please like, share and subscribe these videos. I appreciate that no end. If you do subscribe and you wanna get a notification every time I upload a video, which is kind of every day at the minute, um, please click the little bell icon. Please follow Mike Barnes Drums on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and TikTok. Thanks to all the lovely people who've supported this channel. Massively appreciate that. Um, there was an amazing anonymous uh, supporter today. Thanks so much for your support, whoever you are. That was really super cool. Uh, amazing delightful new uh, members on monthly member lisa thanks so much lisa appreciate you uh, being here no end um what so two great ways of supporting this channel if you're appreciating the content one is to buy me a coffee so to speak a virtual coffee at my buy me a coffee donations page which you can find in the uh, this, the description below and the other way is to become a monthly member also you'll find that exact on exactly the same page actually um link below as a monthly member you get drum support from me you get video responses from me to your questions uh you get a, a shout out on this channel lisa you're amazing you're a superstar so you get a shout out on this channel you get um oh, a whole lot of other amazing stuff as well weekly members video and there's actually more and more things i've got planned for that so some online workshops and online hangs and um more members videos all sorts of cool stuff like that so the youtube channel carries on as normal it doesn't it's not affected anyway but it's just a whole other thing if you just want to get that little bit deeper and sort of interact with me a little bit more i can answer your questions uh, directly and as i say video responses if uh, if necessary if you require those uh cool man so i hope that's all helpful any questions about anything at all give us a shout and i'll see you soon thanks so much man all the best